Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about balls, colored balls, stages of balls. No, 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 not those balls. Junior balls, junior quick start balls. All right, hold tight. So about 10 years ago, America decided that they needed to improve junior tennis. So when I was a kid, all my coaches ever did was bring out some old flat balls and feed them to us, right? So they would pretty much bounce our height, right? But once in a blue moon, when we actually got to use new balls, they would bounce over our heads. And I don't, I don't know if you guys remember, but if you open up a new can of balls and you're like three foot two, right? What's gonna happen when it hits the ground? It's gonna be up here, and you're gonna be hitting the ball like this, right? How are our junior people um, supposed to hit, learn a forehand if they're constantly trying to swat a fly in the air? Probably good for swatting flies, but not good for a forehand or a backhand if you're a little kid. So, and America also got tired of, you know, getting beat in the pro ranks, right? We, we talked about the last American that won a Grand Slam, Andy Roddick, 2003. Well, hey, that was a long time ago, right? We have to bring American tennis back to the forefront. Well, what did USTA, what did they decide? Well, let's, let's follow the lead of Europe, right? Europe has had these quick start type balls for a long, long time. We just never adopted to that. We had never adapted to that, right? But since, you know, American tennis is on the downturn and who knows when we'll be back to greatness, um, they, just start, they decided to institute these type of balls, right? So what, what do these balls do and why are they here? Okay, so depending on the color, Right, so they decided to color code them. Will depend on what age the balls are appropriate for. So the red, the red dot, as they call it, are meant for the two-year-olds to eight-year-olds. So if you're like three foot two, three foot five, you know, little little pit squeaks, right? You want the ball to be bigger. Right? You want them to be bigger. You want that target to be easier to hit. You want the bounce to be not so high. Right, You want a bigger ball to hit. So that is bigger than a normal size ball. It's lighter than a normal size ball. And check this out when I bounce it. it didn't bounce very high, did it? There's really no air in this. There's no air. See how easy it is to be compressed? So when it bounces, it bounces to about their chest high, right? So they can hit a decent forehand. And when it goes through the air, it's nice and slow because there's a bigger ball, doesn't have any air, and it's lighter, right? So two to eight year old, two to eight year olds will use this red dot ball, okay? So they can practice, keep a consistent rally, and you know, learn consistent tennis, you know, without the ball flying over their head, okay? So next up is the orange dot balls. So these are meant for nine to 10 year olds. So as they grow a little bit, uh, four foot six, maybe max using these, uh, the ball now gets smaller. These actually have zero, zero pressure in them. The cans are just for looks. There is no air pumped into these. There's no air pumped into that red can. There's really no air pumped into this. Yeah, there's a little air. It says pressurized, but it's not that pressurized. So this is a regular size tennis ball. It's got the orange dot, right? So meant for somebody a little taller than an eight-year-old, nine to 10, nine, 
nine to 10 year old is what they say, right? So I'm gonna drop this. Still on the low side, right? So again, it'll go to that nine or 10 year old's chest high, about chest, shoulder to about waist to knee is where this is gonna bounce, depending on who's hitting it on the other side. But again, that person or that kid will be able to hit a rally ball with this, right? You can learn to play tennis at a slower pace without the balls being like BB shot at you with a, when you use a regular adult ball. And then the final stage is a green dot ball, which they call US Open green tournament ball. Now this does have a little bit of pressure in it. It is a pressurized can, um, but it's not pressurized a lot. It's not juiced up like, a, you know, like a regular ball like that. So green dot, barely any air, barely. They just probably do that to keep it fresh. So this is a little firmer, right? That's a little firmer. It's got a green dot on it now. Regular size ball, right? So this is for 11 years and up. 11 to 12, maybe 13 max, but 11 and up is what they say. Still low. So you figure 11 year old, 12 year old would be about five foot tall. Right, so this again will be from their knee to their chest level. So they can, again, get better faster. Green Dot tournaments now uh, for your 11 year olds and up. So this will actually teach them, um, you know, how to, how to work a point, right? How to serve, how to hit a forehand, how to strategize. Um, how to strategize, how to play, right? How to win. So at their own pace, right? So there are green dot tournaments out there. I think there are the orange dot tournaments out there too. Um, not sure about red, but I definitely do hear about um, orange and green. Uh, green most of the time. All this is meant in stages to make the kid faster, like learn faster right? Um, gain confidence, right? Learn to play the game at a more controlled pace, um, depending upon their age. So this is the final, final ball before you move into a real ball. Okay. So green dot, 11, 12 year old, probably would be the max. After 13, we go real ball. Nine to 10 year old, go with the orange. Your two year old to 10 year old reds. All right. So the colored balls, the stages, junior quick start is what they're called. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, get your kids started young and use these balls. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.